For the following exercises, find functions f of x and g of x so that the given function can be expressed as h of x equals f of g of x. Okay, and then we have three different examples here. So this one is now they gave us the composite function. We have to find the individual parts. So with composite functions, and I'm just going to write it down here, they want h of x equals f of g of x. Okay, so with composite functions, we always work from inner function to outer function. The inner function is the one that's literally with more inside the parentheses. So in this case, since they wrote it like this, they want the g function to be inside and they want the f function to be outside. Okay, now in order to make the puzzle work properly, here's a little trick down at the bottom left. We have to find a piece of the function that looks like it was placed into a bigger function. The key is exponents and radicals. Okay, now let's try to get one down. Here is my composite function. We have to find the individual parts. Well, looky here. I have this whole thing inside. Hmm, I'm using key words here. This whole thing is inside these parentheses, which is raised to the second. Do you guys see that? What do you think was the inside function? Oh, the inside function has to be g of x. And what do you think it is here? Oh, it's this. So g of x had to have been x plus 2. And that function was placed inside the bigger function. Now, when you find the bigger function, all you got to do is strip away what was said and just in your mind place it as x. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just show you guys. Um, we're now going to do the bigger function. So that's f of x. And I can't include, I'm going to do it from here. This is what it was originally, right? But now we know that this was the inside. So what you do in your mind is you erase what you said was the inside. Beep. And you just add an x value. That's it. Now you just clean this up, right? So the f of x function would just be x squared. You don't need parentheses for that. But do you see how this whole thing, and look, if I can just drag it, right? This whole thing replaced the x and it was all squared. So that are your two functions. Your g of x was x plus 2, and your f of x, the bigger function, was x squared. But say the word, what looks like it's inside something else? That will help you out find out what the parts are. Always work from inside to outside. It's the easiest way. Let's try this one. h of x is x minus 5 raised to the third. Hmm, was anything placed in inside something else. Oh, this function looks like it was placed inside a bigger function that was raised to the third. Okay. The inside function is specifically g of x here. So g of x equals x minus five. Now for the other function, which they're stating as f, let's see. The whole thing was x minus 5 cubed, but remember, when you're trying to find the x function, uh, the outer function, just in your mind, get rid of what you said was the inner function and just put an x there. And then just clean it up. f of x was now x cubed. And that's it. Those are your two functions. The first one, g of x being x minus 5, that was the inner one. And then x cubed was f of x. That was the outer one. There you go. Two down. Let's do one more. Ooh, okay. 
h of x equals 3 over x minus 5. Hmm. This one's a little tricky, right? Let's see. I don't really see anything that's inside, right? Because I don't see any parentheses and I don't see any exponents. So I'm going to make it up. Now, when you come down to it, there's going to be a lot of different answers. So I'm going to provide you one answer for this question. But you might have a different answer and it might actually be correct as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to force an inside guy. What happens if I just take this x minus 5 and raise it to the first? Oh, right? That would be the same thing as just saying this, right? Anything raised to the first is the same. But now look, I clearly have an inside guy, an inside function. And the inside, they said, was g of x. So g of x is x minus 5. Now, take the f of x, the bigger function, rewrite it, and then just strip away what you called for the inner function. Okay, so I just strip away this, and what do we do? We replace it as just a x. And now all you got to do is clean it up. So this would be f of x equals 3 over x. You could say x to the first, but x to the first is just x. We just use these parentheses to help us see which one was the inner function and which one was the outer function. But that's it, guys. Look at that. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy, right? So these are your two functions. This is fun. <laughs> I like doing this because it's like a puzzle. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Um, so we're done here. Uh, yeah, if you want to help us with the channel, click the subscribe button. Um, thank you so much for tuning in. I really hope that I am helping you guys out. Let me know down in the comments what you thought. And if you want more math help, I'll be seeing you in the next videos, all right? See you later. Have an awesome day.